Hello, and welcome to Community Hotline at Home. I'm Monica Weitzel. Today, we'll be talking with the founder and executive director of My Voice Music, Ian Mauser. Ian, it's, well, it's wonderful to have you on the show again. Hi, thanks for having me. You're welcome. You know, My Voice Music has been around since, what, 2008? Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. So tell us briefly what your mission is and uh, what you do to fulfill that mission. Yeah, our mission is to amplify young voices and ignite self-discovery using the artistic process. So we use songwriting and recording uh, and performance or the release of music in some way um, to have conversations with young folks and to help them express themselves or give an opportunity for someone who is just ready to, to, to hit the recording studio uh, to give them free access to be able to do that. Um, we travel into residential uh, treatment facilities where young people are experiencing mental health crises or um, behavioral challenges. Uh, that's the work we were established doing. And then since then we've opened a studio to the public and all the work we do is based on that trauma informed approach. And we find that by acknowledging that uh, it lifts everybody up regardless of uh, how they identify experiencing yeah. trauma or not uh, uh, or otherwise. Everybody has some kind of trauma at some point in their lives, right? So, and if they don't, they're, uh, they they will. <laughs> they, they will. That's exactly right. That's yeah. exactly right. So that's a good approach to take. So, yeah. is that still a a big part of your of your work is with um, kids in the tr residential treatment homes and that kind of thing? Yeah. Each year, we work with about sixteen hundred kids or or so, and two thirds of those are inside residential facilities. Okay. So we work with. Uh, um, undocumented uh, migrant youth who were picked up at the border and have been sent to Portland and are sitting uh, waiting to find next of kin or something uh, in a facility or young women uh, recovering from commercial sexual exploitation or or young kids who are in um, crises and being uh, sent from one foster placement to another foster placement yet to be determined and um, you know, we, we walk in as, you know, artists, as hip hop artists and rock and rollers. And um, we're in a healthcare system that, that provides amazing services, you know, shelter, food, uh, psychiatry and, and those sorts of things. But what is missing and, and is needed is opportunity to, to, to be human and to share our common humanity with one another. Um, we all need that experience and to bounce how we are perceived in the world and, and what we can give to the world off of others in a natural way and to have our story heard um, by other folks. And so that's what My Voice Music does. We just walk in without any intention of being some part of a clinical team, even though we understand what our role is. We just write songs with kids and um, sometimes it's unbelievably profound and other times it's about cheeseburgers because these kids have been dreaming about fast food for months, you know? It's probably whatever they need they need to talk about, right? I mean, it's, it. yeah. it's, it's a yeah. great outlet for them. I mean, in situations like that, you're going to need something, some way to express yourself because you're kind of stuck. So yeah, yeah that's, pretty, that's pretty amazing. So how do you continue to connect with kids like that during this COVID crisis? Because that's got to be hard when you have to practice social distancing. Yeah, it's been really, really interesting. You know, I mean, we're in a time where um, this is talked about, I think, a lot in the media where everybody wants to to help and, and, and be a part of, you know, um, a solution. And, and then the way we're supposed to be helping is to be um, social isolating. So what we did immediately is we we took a whole bunch of activities that <clears throat> are, are music based activities songwriting prompts and we had an intention of collecting a bunch of uh things that people could facilitate that had no experience doing music so if you were not a musician you'd be able to look at this you know binder of materials and you could lead um, young people in poetry or lyric writing mm. um, workshops or even like somatic exercises these body movement exercises that use rhythm whether that's dancing or counting out rhythms or or, um, you know, we have a lot of silly things we do with, with younger kids just to get energy out in a, in a constructive way. Um, so we immediately built that binder up and, and it's a digital folder and sent that out. And then we found that as things have settled in, you know, we're able to do some Zoom meetings with um, particular groups or particular um, young folks that are interested in <clears throat> uh, working with one of our instructors. 
and then something I'm really excited about um, for now and then for the future is we put together this let's write a song together initiative and a kid can write lyrics or a poem or take a photo or draw a picture and just send this inspiration to one of our um, staff who are all songwriters and, and recording artists and um, we'll write a song record it and send it back to them so um, that has been a hoot uh, yeah. <laughs> you know there's uh, sounds like you know, fun. The, yeah <laughs> earlier I mean there's fantastically you know articulate um uh just emotionally um connected music and then there's just silly stuff about um fried eggs going on a rampage and um <laughs> and and uh, and that's been shared you know kind of throughout the state so um that's something we're looking at doing is this kind of spreading our work digitally throughout the state um so this has been an opportunity for us to kind of pivot and begin working on some of that video work and, and scaffolding some of the the training documents that uh, or training videos that we think might be be needed um, cool. and then here and then for our public studio we don't know what the summer might look like um, so we're you know we're working with other organizations to kind of put together a collective that could do digital work or um, you know, we've got like three different options for what summer camps could look like in a complete digital world or a reduced modified social isolation or in some you... world, no social isolation. <laughs> it's, really it's, it's, it's really hard. It's really hard. did it in March, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but you're, you're a creative team, so you'll probably figure something out that'll, that'll yeah. work well. Um, yeah. When you're working with the kids and you're doing something like the, the, the songwriting, is there uh, an age range that you work with? Anything is particular? Or do you just leave it open as to youth? Um, well, for the Let's Write a Song Together project, we've actually opened that up to the public. So if anybody's watching this and they've mm -hmm. got a, 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 a youngster around or if you're a teenager and you want to write lyrics and get a, a song produced back, you know, with the hip hop or rock and roll or folk or whatever it is, um, let us know. Um, and so for that, there is not really an age limit, you know, as long as a youngster has a, an idea or, you know, someone who is older has, has poetry or whatever um, that they want to share. Uh, you know, so, uh, you know, anyone kind of 17 and under, uh, feel free to, to shoot us some lyrics or a photo and see what comes back. Cool. That sounds great. Um, now, what about, uh, you, you said something about, you know, you don't know what the summer is going to bring and, and you had a fundraiser that you usually do every year, right? That's uh, so, right. Yeah. So wh what will you do this year? Yeah, so this is a fundraiser called Jams for Camps, and we're a music organization, so we're, uh, you know, jamming out. And uh, so we, we bring in local artists uh, that, you know, have, have uh, um, had a, you know, a, a big hit, so to speak, or something, uh, mm -hmm. have gained some sort of notoriety, and they come in and they work with our students, and then... Um, they'll come and perform at that, at that thing. And we'll raise uh, usually about $20,000 for our summer camps. Uh, about 70% of all the kids that show up to those are on scholarship. So uh, this year we turned everything digital and we've kind of called back on those artists that have worked with our kids before to write songs. So um, we've got some videos coming in from Brian Giles of Red Fang or Eric Early or Lost Lander and a few other artists in town that are putting stuff together um, and we'll kind of have a digital celebration of, of the projects that we do and, and the way we do them and um, you know everything we do like I mentioned is, is just so simple it's, it's on rock and roll and, 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 and music in, in general um, but it's with intention and and you know many many of the kids that we work with find it transformative whether it's attending a rock camp for the first time or otherwise so um, that'll be a, a, a digital event, a virtual event on May 15th, uh, beginning at 7.30, um, called Jams for Camps. And, mm -hmm. um, and, and it's gonna see, you know, instead of what, instead of a camp of 30 people getting together, it might be camps of 10 people or less, um, going two and a half days instead of five. Um, and then we can just stack those um, back to back. We have multiple rooms that are across a building. We, we work um, inside a large, old Methodist church that's since um, stopped having church meetings there. And so we can, even if we need to like let 
room sit for a few days we we had the opportunity to do that so that's great uh, yeah yeah that's good so uh if people want to find out more about the 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 fundraiser your virtual fundraiser then they can go to your website for that information that's right yeah, yeah okay now i i we're just about out of time but I, I have to ask you about the lewis prize for music this is a big award that that you and and my voice music got can you tell me just a little bit about that yeah, it was the inaugural award uh, for um, the Lewis Prize for Music. Uh, a man named Dan Lewis put together a project after um, experimenting with different um, ways to implement his philanthropic goals, and um, he ended up it not it, it didn't work out. So he, for you know about two years, put together a research team, and they came up with this prize, and it went out to ten different awardees at different levels. And My Voice Music was one of the top three levels. So we got a, a grant award of five hundred thousand dollars over the next three years, um, in order to 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 do three things um, that are leveraging the over you know a decade of kind of institutional knowledge we have. And one is in my voice music across Oregon, where we're going to get into every residential facility in Oregon and make sure that they have somebody in that facility. Again, that's not there to. Uh, meet the, the basic needs of the kid or fix the kid or help the kid get somewhere in the future, but just to sit with the person in the moment and have that authentic human connection because we know that that's essential. Um, so we'll be putting together training documents, building a manual festo that other folks, anyone can can read and, and learn about what we're up to and the folks that we know are up to and, and, and what the be, kind of best practices in the industry uh, of, of creative youth development are, not just my voice music. Um, and then um, we're moving to, to East Portland. Uh, oh, yeah. if, if all things work out, you know, um, we're, we've been working on a project to move to East Portland for a long time and uh, we're, we're, we're just ready to do that. So that's once, inner, inner Southeast, isn't it? Is that? Yeah, that'll be uh, um, 89th and start. Oh, inner. okay. That's not really inner. Okay. Oh, okay. Great. That's super. That's exciting and then was there one more part of it or was that that was it you know there's three things we'll create a manual festo which we're, we've actually already right. done and we're kind of refining um we'll go across the state and that therapeutic stuff and then we'll establish uh, a really great headquarters on 89th and stark with mm -hmm. we're just i was just looking over some recording decks that we're gonna get and they're like super slick with touchscreen stuff and cool. anyway yeah you'll be excited about that i'm sure yeah yeah, yeah. Well, what a what a great opportunity and congrats on getting that that award because that's a that's a pretty big deal. I was I was yeah. very impressed yeah. to hear about that. So, you know, thank you, Ian, so much for the work that you're doing. You really you really are making a difference in kids' lives and and um, to all the people that are helping you do that. So, thank you so much and thanks for being on the show today. Thanks for the opportunity. You're welcome. Good to see you again.